Your doctor may soon tell you climate change is making you sick. A new group of clinicians in Florida is organizing to spread the word on the health effects of global warming. 10 News reporter Bianca Grollo tells us what they want to accomplish and why that may be a challenge. When you hear climate change, you might think melting glaciers, rising sea levels, or very hot days. But do you ever think it's currently making you sick? Ken Conklin does. There are coughing fits that make me go into seizures. He was diagnosed with environmentally induced asthma seven years ago. That's probably the worst of it all, is when you're gasping for air, and no matter how hard you try breathing, you're just not getting it. He doesn't remember who brought it up first, but he's had the conversation with his doctor. As the last several years, the winter's getting warmer, the symptoms are getting worse. We know it's getting warmer. The question is whether we can prove it's already affecting our health. This is the Lancet. One of the world's most prestigious medical journals says they found the evidence. They're now saying that the human symptoms of climate change are unequivocal and potentially irreversible. They found higher temperatures are causing more cases of heat-related illnesses. More floods are leading to more disease-transmitting mosquitoes. And warmer weather is making allergy season longer and allergen levels higher. I hadn't really heard anything about climate change before, but about 15, 20 years ago, I mean, I'm seeing that my kids are getting sicker and sicker with their asthma. They're, kind of, they're showing up like with asthma at a younger and younger age, needing more and more medications to help them breathe. Dr. Lynn Ringenberg has been talking to her patients about climate change for years and trying to get other doctors to do the same. If you tell 30 and then 30 a day is 150 or 200 a week in 10 practices is a couple thousand and they tell their neighbors and their families. The hope is to raise awareness and potentially inspire action, but some say that's a long shot and could be distracting. I think unless you can tell a patient who, be, who you're asking to become an, a co-advocate with you specific things that they can do, they're kind of leaving there saying, I'm not, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do. you want me to write a letter? Do you want me to attend a meeting? If I spend my time focusing on getting you to write your congressperson, it may or may not have an effect, but I dilute the very limited time I have with you. Still, more doctors are joining the cause in Florida. They say they're not pushing it. If I suspect the person maybe doesn't endorse that agenda, that's fine. We move on to something else. But can't stay quiet while they watch their patients get sicker. That's their job. If something's making you sick, it's their job to identify what's making you sick and help make that change. The new group clinicians for climate action just formed a few months ago, but they're looking to expand their reach by recruiting more healthcare workers across the state.